This time we've got the Raspberry Pi up and running. We've connected over the network. What I want to show you is how you can update your software now um, if you have the latest or you can update to have the latest um, right on the desktop of the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to log into the, uh, the Raspberry Pi by going to dex.local and we'll look at the desktop so we'll type on BNC again we'll log in robots1234 with my password and I'm on the desktop. <clears throat> now you have a couple of options for uh, GUIs on here, but there's one um, that look like DEX. <clears throat> there's one here called DI Software Update, and we'll double click on that, and that'll take us to the software update. You'll see this terminal window pop up, but we want to leave that running. And the first thing it'll actually do is try to connect to the internet and download the latest software off of GitHub. So the this script does this automatically. You don't want to close this window. You don't want to close the window in mid-update. Here you can see we've connected because we're connected to the internet. If you're not connected to the internet, you'll see a error rejection and it'll tell you that you're not connected to the internet and tell you to try again. But in this case, um, everything went well. Still want to leave this window open. Um, and in the GUI, we can uh, represent it with a couple different options. We can update Raspbian. So if we want to update the the underlying operating system, which you should do from time to time. You just click on this and it will do that. We can update the Dexter Industries software. So this gets you the updates everything in your um, in your product folders like GoBox or GrowPy or GoPyGo and installs any new software fixes that we've come up with for Raspbian for robots. So it'll get these directly off the internet. So if you feel like your examples um, or your drivers are falling behind, you would run this program. And finally, if you want to update the, the firmware on either your GoPyGo Go or your GrovePy, you would use this. You select the robot that you want to update, and then you hit Update Firmware. So I recommend that you periodically run the Update Raspbian, and also periodically run Update Dexter Software. One thing to note when you run Update Dexter Software, if you've changed any of the example files under, say, GoPyGo Go or GrovePy or BrickPy, it will erase that um, and replace it with an entirely new directory that it downloads off of GitHub. So if you start working on a project, we always recommend that you not work on a project in these um, product in the product files on the desktop. So I'm gonna go ahead and update Raspbian and I'll show you what that looks like. And um, I'll cut off the video in the middle here so you don't have to watch the whole process, but you'll get a warning message saying the update will start, um, and it could take some time. If, if you haven't updated in a while or you have or the, uh, uh, the operating system hasn't been updated, this is going to go to the Raspberry Pi Foundation and get some of the latest um, operating system software. So you've got to be connected. Again, you've still got to be connected to the internet to run this. I'm going to hit OK, and we'll see it starting to work in the background. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and come back when um, when the update is done. Okay, and we're back. That was not too painful. It didn't take that long. Let's just look inside this terminal window real quick just to see a little bit about what went on and how I can tell when I'm done. Uh, you can see we did a lot of contacting the raspberrypi.org and um, went ahead and updated a few things that are going on what's called the kernel and some of the software that runs in the background. Don't really need to know that, but here's the thing to look for. We've got the end the upgrade happens right here. Um, and you can see that we begin uh, cleanup and we do a couple of other things. But you see these solid lines that we get um, in the terminal. That means we're done with the upgrade. So end, end the update, the background image on the Galaxy desktop. So the update the Raspbian is done. Um, you don't want to stop or turn off the GUI here um, until you see these lines coming uh, are showing up. So next thing we want to do is try and update the Dexter software. Again, this is going to erase any examples that you have in the product folders here. And it's also another process you don't want to stop in the middle. You'll get a lot of updates going on here. Any point that you think it's frozen, don't shut it off, don't kill this window, and don't kill this window. So all we have to do to update the software is just click 
update Dexter software will get a warning. If you want to cancel out, you can cancel out if you accidentally hit that button, but I'll actually go through with it. We'll hit OK. In this window you should see some more update stuff so again we're going to go back you'll see a bunch of um, addresses to the Raspberry Pi Foundation making sure that we have the latest uh, software and then we'll contact um, some of the Dexter Industries software repositories and we'll do some installation so um, yeah I'll pause the video here and show you okay and we're back um, see quite a bit of stuff was done while we were out um, this took about 10 minutes to run um, so rather than bore you with the details I'll just show you the highlights um, you can see a, a couple of different updates were done if you go through this and if you don't have the patience to go through it at the very end you'll see this enlarged text in the program running in the background update complete again this terminal window is just sort of like telling you, uh, giving you updates of what's going on in the background. You don't need to interact with it at all. You don't need to type into it. You don't need to do anything. You just don't need to close it. It'll close automatically when we close this GUI. But we've just run the uh, update Dexter software and it's run for about 10 minutes and the update is now complete because it just said update complete. Um, the final thing I'll show you is how to update firmware so uh, let's say you just got your GoPi let's say you just got your GoPi Go and you want to make sure you have the latest firmware on it you've downloaded the firmware on that um, by running the update Dexter software and now we're going to upload the latest firmware by you just saw I just changed the um, um, the product selection right here uh, Say again, we're doing this for the GoPi Go, so I click on GoPi Go in the drop down menu here. Uh, if I wanted to do Grow Pi, I would click on that. You would see the icon here change. We'll go back to GoPi Go, and I've got the hardware hooked up. You can't see it in this video, but I've got the hardware hooked up to the Raspberry Pi, and I just hit update firmware. I've also got the little uh, reminder down here just telling me um, which hardware I'm pointing to. Okay, so I've selected GoPi Go, I hit update firmware, and it'll give me the option of backing out, but I definitely want to do this firmware update, I hit OK. I get a friendly reminder to disconnect the motors because this is the GoPi Go, so you, you always want to uh, disconnect the motor wires before you run an update. Um, this is not important for the Raspberry, or for the GoPi Go 2, but it is important for the GoPi Go 1. Uh, left the reminder in there just to make sure that nobody accidentally damages their GoPi Go. So remove the motor cables if you're unsure and then hit OK. And you'll see uh, a start. It'll say that the firmware will begin and you'll get some updates here uh, about when it's complete. Hit OK. And that's pretty much it. Uh, when I hit uh, exit here, I will uh, automatically get the option to reboot. And if you've done either the uh, update Dexter software or app update the Raspbian, you do want to reboot. So I'm going to hit exit and it'll say that the um, Pi will restart. I'll hit OK and it'll take it into automatic shutdown here. And that's it. That's how you update the firmware, the hardware, uh, and the operating system on the uh, Raspbian for Robots operating system.